Hello friends. All right. So again, here I am, Nova Goforth, an independent origami app designer. And I am coming to you today because I want to show you what creating an origami owl living locket is all about. So I know, right? You can't get past the amazing bling that is on my neck. What is that? Okay. This is not a locket. No, it is our can you see it? It is one of our bar necklaces that I'm about to show you because we don't always have lockets. I'm going to show you those in just a second, but I want to show you that Origami Owl is made up of more than just lockets. We have bar necklaces. This one says faith over fear. This one says one day at a time. And this one is the one that I'm wearing and it says everything happens for a reason. So there are definitely meanings behind each one of these three bar necklaces and we've had a couple more over the the last six months they come and they go with different sayings on them but what i'm here to show you today is how to create a living locket that is going to tell your story are you ready all right so first things first our jewelry is um hyper allergenic nickel and lead free our lockets are stainless steel and in most cases our Swarovski crystal is around the around the locket itself. So let me get close and let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So I want to show you what this looks like. This is my son's name because of course, why couldn't you inscribe, right? You could inscribe a personal meanings right inside the locket. It says Brennan number 11 and then you can see down at the bottom, I have a mitt a baseball bat and a heart that's white has red trim just like a baseball and then can you see these wonderful little floating crystals those are actually called a stardust crystal they are tiny little um fragments of a stardust crystal oops i told you this is going to be one of those um one of those almost live videos but i'm not going to edit so you just seen my cat fluffy um so this is the way that the jewelry works. And the little crystals are little um, fragments of a big Swarovski crystal in different colors. And we've got lots of them, lots and lots of them over the extended course of the last three and a half, four years that we've been partnered with or got me or Swarovski crystal. They've made tons. So let me show you. This is the way that they work. Now we have two different kinds of lockets, but today we're talking about the twist locket, my favorite locket, okay? It has versatility. Now watch this. All I'm gonna do is hold the bail and I'm going to twist, yes I said twist, that face right off. Now usually I would do another song for you and I would say, I'm all about that bass, about that bass. But you don't want to hear me sing because I'm a terrible singer and you don't want to hear my jokes because my family thinks my jokes are awful, but I'll still do them. All right. So this is the face. Take a look at that. Can you see the amazing, can you see that amazing crystal? It's shiny. So inside are all of these charms. So what I want to show you is I put a look together that was specifically for my son, but you're going to say Nova baseball season's over. Well, look what you can do. Watch this. I'm going to remove these $6 charms. Again, $6. You spend that at Starbucks on a mocha latte, creme brulee, tolly fresh, whipped non-whipped goat cheese milk. Latte, whatever you want to call them. You spend that at Starbucks. Look at this, right? No charms beside those little crystals. I'm going to now add the football charm because football season has started. So I'm going to add the football charm. I'm going to twist this right back on and I'm going to show you how taking away a few charms and adding one $6 charm in here is going to now tell my son's football story. Let's see if I can, you can see the football. Can you see that? Yes. So now it's not a baseball locket. It's a football locket. And of course, we've got other charms that you could use. We've got star um, over the course of the last many years. We've had lots of different styles that you can use, a helmet and a trophy. Um, you know, you can use his numbers in there. If you didn't want to do a plate, you can use his initials. You could use other things in there um, as well. But what I love about the jewelry is you don't have to buy another face, which is the front, and you don't have to buy another back, which is the base, right? You can keep the same chain if you choose. All you have to do is mix and match the charms inside. So $6 here, $6 there. You can turn a look like this, of course, 
with matching earrings, right? Because who wouldn't want matching earrings with your locket? Our matching earrings, like this is just one pair right here. Take a look at these, oh yeah, you can see that. Take a look at these bling bling hoops, right? To match your living locket. Not only that, but you can get a wrap bracelet to match your living locket as well. Let me just kind of give you a peek of what that would look like. And I really just want you to know that Origami Out Jewelry can truly be for you. Take a look at this wrap bracelet and more, more, more videos are to come. I'm going to show you all about the wrap bracelet. The wrap bracelet is one of my favorites of all time. Check that out. In the wrap bracelet, the lockets, the necklaces, all of these things really are more than what meets the eye. You can do so many different things with so many of our pieces. A lot of them are mix and matchables. A lot of them that you can uh, twist off. You can interchange not only what's in it, but you can change the face as well. So going from a, let me show you this one, and I'm going to put together this locket. So going from a locket that has a Swarovski crystal silver. See, I showed the black before, this is silver, and now I'm gonna create a story for you because I wanna give you a couple of different ideas. Maybe you've seen the sports idea and you said, you know what, I'm not a sports mom, so that doesn't speak to me. Well, guess what, that's okay, because Origami Out has so many different charms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the base and I'm gonna add a couple of charms. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm adding them in this locket. I'm going to add a key that I dropped, but I picked it up, a key, because the mother is the key to the household. She holds the key, she holds the strength. I'm gonna put a number one mom mug in here because the mom needs her coffee and she's also a number one mom and her heart and her family think so. I'm gonna put a be brave charm in there because she's going to, through some things where she really needs that little extra affirmation, the be brave. And then the final one I'm going to put in here is something that is near and dear to the mom's heart, which is the pregnancy and infant loss charm. And all of these charms work together because maybe she's going through something and she's um, been through a lot of pain and she... Oop, I tried that, it didn't work. She's going through a lot of pain right now. And this living locket, let me get this really flat. This living locket just might be something that brings a tear to her eye, but makes her smile nonetheless every single time she wears it. Okay, so now let's think about this. This one is a touching locket, maybe something that resonates with you, maybe something that resonates with um, somebody in your life. So now let me show you something else. Let me remove the infant loss. Let me put in the baseball, okay? So now the same charms, just by removing one charm, tells a completely different story, okay? So the key might be the key to her heart. Her son is the key to her heart. The number one mom mug is the same thing because she needs her coffee and she's a number one mom in her eyes and her and her sons. The be brave is because her son goes to his father's every other weekend and she is alone without him and she has to remind herself to be brave. And the baseball because that is what her son loves to do. That's the charm that reminds her of her son. So again, do you see all these two different stories? And of course we could keep building, we could keep going. Origami Al truly is something for everybody. Whether it is a locket that you wanna build to put inside, um, to wear on your neck, wear on your bracelet, wear on your, on your wrist, wear on your ring, on your finger. Guys, we have a little bit of something for everybody. And matter of fact, this fall collection is just downright amazing. So I would love to end with this, this little YouTube video with a bunch of puns, um, but you know what? I think that my um, my husband might actually kill me because, uh, well not literally, uh, he thinks that my jokes are silly. So um, I'm not really sure if that's the case. So I'm gonna tell you one and in the comments, if you wanna tell me it's funny, I will definitely get a good laugh out of it. So um, what did the dad tomato say to the son tomato? Ketchup, get it?
catch up. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Ha ha ha. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that you found something in the video that I've done here that's brought you a little bit of a um, eye opener with Origami Owl. Please know that I'd love to be your Origami Owl designer. My name is again Nova Go Forth. If you like this video, please hit the like, but like button below. I would love it. If you want to see more of these, please subscribe. I've got so much more to show you. This is just I wouldn't even see the tip of the iceberg. This is literally only been three videos. Um, I've got a lot more to show you. Um, and please, if you have any questions, check out the description. My website's down there. You can email me right from my website. Ask me any questions that you want about this, the opportunity about hosting an online party, whatever it is that you want to ask me, and I will answer. So thanks again, guys, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye from your favorite Origami Out Designer.